What is going on? All right, I want to give you a sneak peek at the ultrasonic distance solution and where it's kind of at. Um, so I've got printed circuit boards coming tomorrow, um, and I wanted to get a head start and test some software. So I just went ahead and used the, the, the sensors that came in with the three volt power supply and wired them up to my boron. It's a real nice compact package. And um, what I'm going to do is kind of show you how it works with the phone uh, web app. So uh, I'm going to put the sensor and don't make fun of my apartment. It's a little messy. I blame my brother. Okay, so, uh, okay, I'll put it there. And um, basically on the phone, we can get there. So we're 11 inches away from the wall. And um, what we're gonna do is we're going to, let's see, basically we're gonna move it, move it out. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. So, how, so now we're here. Um, Take a look, take a look. So now we're at 47 inches. Um, we can move it, move it closer now. Or let's let's point it far away. And I think there's like a range of like 60 inches, but we'll we'll find out. 46 inches. So yeah, I think the range for this sensor is actually 46 inches. So then we'll we'll point it to the wall. Uh, 26 inches, move it even closer, and uh, right now I'm just having where we're pulling the data, but we can, the idea is with this, is we're going to set up uh, alerts, workflows, and all kinds of things, so we can say like if something gets low or high, we can uh, uh, send out alerts for someone to take care of it, um, but the idea is uh, kind of, this is my first end-to-end -end IoT solution, and uh, the idea is get get some good products in my hand, and then uh, maybe try to find what kind of ways we can use these in interesting interesting ways that we could connect different things. Um, and I was talking to someone apparently that these distance sensors really it's all about a volume, uh, and he was saying some cool stuff like um, maybe if you had a truck that um, where people drivers put things on and off a truck, and it was more based on volume, not weight. You could have these sensors and say, hey, when the truck is less full or needs to be full filled you could reroute the truck to do different things um, so kind of just thinking brainstorming um, I'm pretty excited it's gonna be our first IoT product um, end to end uh, so we got the printed circuit board and then the next thing is uh, we're gonna really do a, a good enclosure on the mill um, and then try to find some business cases and um, really this first iteration is about understanding the whole end-to-end -end process uh, so far it's been a, a good learning experience and I think we're really figuring it out so if you have any ideas on places that we could put these ultrasonic sensors or if you yourself want one, uh, go ahead and let me know. Uh, go ahead and uh, personal message me or my number is 260-494-0140 if you want to uh, learn more or potentially implement something like this later.